Now it's time to begin making our models. So you'll see in my pinned files down here that we're making a cube and then a triangular prism. That'll be in this first video. And then the second video will, will demonstrate how to make the cylinder, the half cylinder, and a cube with a hole. These are parts, not assemblies, not drawings, not presentations. So we're going to click on the button for a new part. And my buttons have changed a little bit because I have a menu open here or a, a little window. So I just hover over it and I see that it says new part. So I click on that. And don't close this window right here. This is called the browser and it's a very important area. It's where you make changes to any of your models without having to completely start over. So leaving this open, I have a window that says part one. And now I'm going to click on start 2D sketch. So I click it and that opens. If you click down here where the drop down arrow is, then you'll just choose that first one. But if you click up here, then it just selects the 2D sketch. Okay, I need to choose the plane on which I wish to draw my two dimension shape that will later be extruded. So in order to know what shape I'm drawing, I need to consider the, the shape of the face of the object. So in the case of the cube, all of the faces are the same, so that's easy. I'm gonna start with a square, and then I will extrude or give volume to that square. When I do the triangular prism, I'll be making this triangle and then extruding the triangle. With the cylinder, the face is a circle. I extrude the circle. Half cylinder, I need to make a half circle. I will be extruding that. And then finally, I'm gonna show you how to put a hole in that cube and save it as a separate part. So let's go back to part one. Right now I wanna choose a plane. I'm going to choose the XY plane. And it doesn't really matter which one you choose. It's just when you, if you choose a different one than I do, then uh, your, the, the orientation of that model will be different. So clicking XY plane. Now I have my coordinate plane. And from this center point, this would be like the point zero zero on your coordinate or Cartesian system. So I'm going to make the shape that is the face. So for my cube, we said it's a square. A square is a rectangle. So I click on rectangle. And now to make that square, I'm going to click right on that uh, point of origin. And notice that my mouse turns into a green dot. That's what you want. So I click and then release my button. I don't hold the left mouse button down. Click and release. And then I see those uh, measurements popping up as I make this bigger. They're changing smaller and bigger. And while that's blue, I can go ahead and put in my dimension. So I'm going to change that 1.789 to 1.5. So I just type 1.5. And now to jump to the other dimension, I hit my tab key. Now you can't see me doing that, so you just need to be listening. So you hit your tab to go over there, and I go 1.5, and I know that I set it in inches, so we should be good, and I hit enter, and there's my square. Now it's possible that yours is off the screen, so I wanna show you a really important tool. It is this orientation cube. So if you, maybe it's too big and you can't see everything, like now I'm really zoomed in, I can always get big things back into view by clicking on this home button. So I click there and it gives me the, what's called the isometric view. So it's kind of at an angle and then I can click back on front. So again, I scroll, I'm using my scroll wheel to zoom in and I zoomed way too far and I'm having trouble maybe getting it back but it's all over the place and I can just click on home and then front and I have my two-dimensional view just balanced in the screen. Now I can give that 
shape volume. So I go up to 3D model, extrude, and see how it popped out? If yours did not pop out, it means that this profile button wasn't automatically selected. So you could just click on the square or the shape that you want to extrude and it'll pop out. Now I want it extruded one and a half inches. Yours might say one inch when you first do it. And before I hit okay, I can see a preview of it. So I want to put in my 1.5 again. There it is. I could extrude forward or back or each direction. It really doesn't matter for this, this uh, part that you're making. So I'll say okay. And now my cube kind of is out of view. So I'm going to click on my home button and that's the isometric view, the angled view looking at that model. Now I want to give it a wooden um, material. So I go up to right here, it says generic, and now if your screen, you can't see that, maybe you have this zoomed in too far, and it disappears. See how some of those tools disappear? It just means that you need to open it up big, and then you can make it smaller again just by clicking on that square. So I'll open it, generic, I want it to be wood, oak, whoops. There it goes. And this other one I could use if I wanted to make just one surface a different material, I could do that. But I don't want to do that. So here's your undo button. And now I need to save it as cube. So I'm, I'm going to do that. But notice that I already had a cube here. So it's not going to let me save as cube right now. And I'm going to show you, but I'll show it. This is for good reason. I click on cube, or I could even just write cube. Either way, it's the same thing. And say save. And it says it already exists. Do I want to replace it? Yes, I do. And right here it says I can't because I have one of the same name open right now. So I say OK, cancel, and I'll close this other one that I had made. And now that it's closed, I can do file, save as, and call it cube. That's important because this may come up. It tends to come up as you go on with your modeling developing skills and uh, you may have something open like I have right now. I have the cube open right and I don't have the other cube open anymore. So you would think that you would be able to say file, save as now, and save it as cube, because this is the only one open, and replace it, yes, but I get the same error. That's because this itself is open. It doesn't know that I'm saving it as itself. So when you have it open and you've saved it once, then you just do file, save, and that will work. That'll apply any changes. Okay, that is your cube. Now we'll move on to the triangular prism. So I wanna go up here now. I don't have my home tools. I, I could, I suppose, by clicking on home here, but I wanna show you a second method of starting your new part. This drop down kinda of looks like a document, a piece of paper with the corner folded over. Click right on the arrow, and that's a nice, easy method of starting a new part. So click on part. And just like before, I have to select which plane I want to do the, draw the two dimensions on. So I click on Start 2D Sketch. I'm going to choose the same plane. And this time I'm making this triangular prism. And notice that the face of that prism is a right triangle. And it's important that it is a right triangle, not just any triangle. Or when it's time to start learning to assemble, it's not going to fit in your assembly. So I'll go back to my, the part I'm making. Here's my point of origin. Remember, I need to make sure I start on that point of origin. So I click on my line tool this time for a triangle, and it's green. I see a green dot, so I click and release. And now I see the measuring tool right there. This time I'm not going to type it right in. I'm gonna just click. 
No, actually, I'll, I will this time because it could cause a problem that I want to avoid. And next time I'll show you how to change dimensions. So I hit 1.5 and hit enter. And now it's off the screen. So I go to my home and then front. And now I want the other leg of my right triangle to be 1.5 and hit enter. And there it is, and it's still waiting for me, but it's off the screen, so I hit home and front. And now I wanna make sure I actually connect those. It's important that I see that green dot. And that one I don't give dimension to. I have two legs of a right triangle, and then this is whatever the dimension needs to be. It's, called, it's the hypotenuse of that right triangle. So I just let the dimension be what it needs to be. And now I'm going to extrude that shape so I go back to 3D model, extrude, and it's off the screen. I like to be able to see it, so I'll click on my home button, and I need to change this to 1.5, and say okay. And now you can probably guess what's next. I wanna give it material. I'll call it oak, wood oak, so I go down to the W's. And now I can save, which means I need to close this one so that I can save my new one. File, save as, and give it a name that describes what it is. Okay, so you have your first two models. The next video will demonstrate how to make a circle, a, or not a circle, but a cylinder, a half cylinder and a cube with a hole in it.